since there's still some confusion on uh, how to get someone else's uh, certificate imported, I thought I'd make another video here and I'm going to show you how to do that. Uh, before I get started on this video, just a reminder, you need to upload your credentials to the Activity uh, 412 notebook so that uh, I can then send you someone else's certificate. All right, so again, I'm going to start just like I've been doing every time by making a new uh, folder. And so I'm making my new folder right now. And now that I've got my folder, I'm going to go ahead and download my files. So I'm going to download my own files. And I'm going to download the file that I'm going to be the certificate of the other person that I'm going to be importing. Now I'm going to go ahead and find Cleopatra. And once it loads up, then I will first import my private uh, uh, key so that it uh, puts me as the default user. Oops, I forgot to first put them into the folder. And looks like I need to bring over the other certificate as well. There we go. And now they're all in the right folder. All right, now I'm ready to import them. So find them and I'm, again, you import your private one first. Do that so that it sets up your user at, at your certificate as the user for this and that's you it'll be your own key which is very important uh, you make sure you do that if you're going to encrypt anything and uh, run it now I'm ready to import someone else's so I'm going to click on this import button up here and just do it just like I did the other ones uh, and I'm going to import it now if you want to if when it asks you to check it First, you want to do that by going to the file and right-clicking on it and open with, you want to click on more options and hit notepad. And here's where you can check the first 20 characters that the person posted online to see if it matches. Do that before you import it uh, and then you can import it because uh, you know it's the right one. Make sure you're doing their certificate. It'll ask you to start process now and here's where you, you it wants you to verify it. You've already verified it by checking the the 20 characters and you just want to certify it for yourself and then you need to put in the passcode that you used uh, before and then you should be finished and then you can use that to decrypt a, f a message so all you have to do is then download their message and then you decrypt it using that one. I'll put out another video on that if needed. All right, hopefully this helps you out. Thanks, have fun.